What's up everybody, Logan Nash here, joined with Derek Harding, and today I'm going to show you the three best mount attacks for Nogi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So, you're in the mount position. This isn't gonna be a video about control, this is gonna be more so about submissions. Uh, if you'd like, we can make another video about how to control your training partner from the mount position. But this is gonna be all about submissions, so we're gonna get into the submission attacks. My first attack that I like to attack from mount is the arm triangle. When I'm in mount, it's gonna be pretty easy to start getting some cross face shoulder pressure. And I love doing this. If my training partner starts to make a hip frame, I love blocking that with really strong shoulder pressure and really turning them the other way. That's a really good deterrent to stop them from hip framing. So I'm gonna get that strong shoulder pressure. And now I'm gonna start making an underhook with my right arm. I'm keeping my weight to the right so I can't get rolled very easily to the left here. So I, if I just keep my weight right, he can't roll me that way and he can't really roll me the other way either because my weight's transferred to the right. Now with my right arm, I'm gonna make the underhook and I'm not gonna try to lift this arm with my arm. I don't wanna make this a fair fight. If he's stronger than me, this just isn't gonna work. What I wanna use is the mat to create some sort of fulcrum. So I make my underhook and I'm gonna use my hand to, to basically anchor myself to the mat as I use my elbow to kind of like hijack his arm up. And then I'm gonna repeat this process as I get his arm higher and higher. So he can resist this, but because I'm using this tool, it becomes incredibly challenging. And I wanna keep going until I basically make a giant X with my arms. And now I've got his arm all the way across and I've still got my chest pressure. Now, my goal is to transfer my head to behind his shoulder. You may at this point need to do a, a small little push here as you drop your shoulder down. But if you do this really well, you'll be able to slide your head in without even needing to do that. If you feel, still find your training partner has his arm by his side, as you do this, you can use your head behind his shoulder to push the shoulder in front. I call this the kitty cat purr because it looks like you're a little kitty cat pushing that shoulder out in front. Now I'm gonna lock my palm to palm grip. My choking arm is palm down. My non-choking arm is palm up. You can also S grip here in this position. I personally like the palm grip and even sometimes I'll weave grip where I grab my, my wrists. Now I'm gonna dismount into a knee on belly. So if I go to side control here, lately there's been a lot of people that have started back rolling out of this. So I wanna prevent that by going to this knee on belly position. This is just keeping them nice and flat as I wanna think about taking my hand, my hands reaching to the right as I drive my head under his head to the left. These two forces counteract to make a really tight choke. I'm also gonna to start to drop to my left hip as I do so. So don't think about squeezing, don't think about pulling, think about sinking into the mat, maybe flexing, but that's about all you wanna do there. So again, go under the head, cross face, your right arm's gonna to start to dig this underhook. Again, be patient during this process. You might have this and you might dig his underhook back and you might fail and you might have to go again. Try to keep your elbow tight to prevent him from doing so. As you hijack the arm up, higher and higher, higher and higher. And again, if you need to, you might be able to push that out in front, but against really good training partners, you're gonna really try hard to not even do that. The better you get at this. Lock your grip, knee on belly, head behind the head, and drop to the hip. And that is the arm triangle. Attack number two is gonna be an arm bar. Now, I'm not a big fan of the traditional arm bar, stepping, sitting, a lot of times you can lose position with this, so I'm a much bigger fan of the S-mount arm bar. I wanna try hard to scoot my knees up into a higher mount. I can do that by cupping the head and walking my knees up. I'm gonna slide my left knee up high as I keep my weight on that left hip and I transfer into this S mount position. We call it S mount because it literally looks like I'm making the letter S with my legs. I want to think about a straight line going through my foot, through my training partner's head, through my knee all the way out to the other side of my foot, and all of my weight here is in my right hand and my right hip, all my training partner. Now I'm going to start to dig this arm out. I'm going to start to gather the hand up. I can keep my post. As I slide this knee across, I keep everything pinched tight. And now I can bridge into that as I get my S mount finish. Again, this is really good because I don't have to lose any, any control at all. I can stay on top 
as I get that tap. So once again, I'm gonna cup the head and I can do this very similar and I can chain this in with my arm triangle attacks as I climb to a higher mount. Now I'm gonna to switch to my S mount. That's gonna be a hard transition at first. Just keep practicing. You're gonna get better and better at this, especially when your training partner pushes you in the chest. This is gonna be really easy for you after a while. And again, I wanna grab the thumb, making sure I can keep him from rotating his hand. Post, pinch, bridge my hips down into the floor as I pull up. I'm pulling the hand as I'm driving my hips to the floor here and I get the tap. Sometimes he'll try to cover his arm by going to this rear naked choke grip. This can be incredibly difficult to dig this arm out. So what we can do though is attack the other arm. So what I like to do is I'll try to dig my hand in to where I can make a, a, a little scoop grip on his tricep here. And I'm gonna keep the weight in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my hips and go to the far side arm. Covering the head, pinching and biting right away as I transfer and finish that arm bar as well. So again, you've got your traditional S mount arm bar attacking here. And if he covers, it's when I'll dig my hand in, I'll get a little elbow grip and I'll switch because his other arm is now exposed. The third mount attack is gonna be the mounted triangle. So again, these all kind of go together here. I'm trying to go here. I'm trying to scoop up. I'm trying to get an underhook. I'm trying to dig this. But if I can trap this, I can also go to a mounted triangle. This is even easier if I've got his arm across to the other side of my body here. If I can pin this hand under his head, I can keep my weight on my left side as I lift the head and I shoot my right leg over. Now, I'm gonna keep this control as I bring the arm across. My hand goes to my ankle. I keep my weight on my right side so I can freely lock my triangle. Everything gets heavy here. And if I need to, I can go to the arm attack. The same thing, I'm trying to scoop up. Maybe I was trying to get this arm trying, but he's being really adamant with this arm. I can pin that arm down. I can jump my leg over. I keep my weight on my right side so I can freely lock the triangle. To finish the choke, I get heavy and I sit. To attack the arm, I go to the hand and finish that. So those are, in my opinion, the three best mount attacks from Nogi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Let me know how those work for you and let me know if there's a certain subject that you would like to see in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. For more core videos like this, click the link here. And to subscribe to my awesome channel, click the link here. Do me a favor, have a great day.